Praise the Lord, my dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ. Thank you once again for joining into this beautiful Bible study with me on my channel, Daily Devotion with Brother Enoch. And now, again, as you know, that we are doing the series of uh, study on this Gospel of John. And another two more days to go. Today is the uh, ninth. Tomorrow is the tenth day. We'll be ending the series. As I said, ten days we will end this study. And then after that, we will see as the Holy Spirit leads. Trust me, if this is the first time that you have come on this channel, do subscribe to this channel, hit the notification icon because there are some great content which I'm going to put on the YouTube so that it will help you. Now, coming back to our study, today we are at the Gospel of John chapter 8. The Gospel of John chapter 8 verses 1 to 11. Now, when we read this particular passage, we know that this is the portion where the woman was caught in adultery this woman was caught in adultery now let us read this uh, passage text uh, because trust me this video is going to be very short so i'll read uh, portions of it so that we really understand what is the highlight now at daybreak jesus appeared in the temple again and all the people came to him he sat down and began to teach them so this is a series if you have been with me in my couple of last videos you know that jesus was already teaching them uh, and he was uh, you know unveiling his side where he claims to be christ he claims to be the messiah he claims to be the son of god so now based on his words now he is again in the temple teaching so based on his words now the people the sadducees and the pharisees they bring a woman who had been caught in the act of adultery. They made her stand in front of everyone. Now why? She was not the subject. The subject was Jesus. So they made her stand in front of everyone. And they said to Jesus, Master, now let me tell you, the term master, teacher, which is used here by the Pharisees or by uh, the, uh, you know, the people, the teachers of the law, the Sadducees, it was not from something it was not something from the heart so it was a very sarcastic comment that they were making over there so master they said though this woman has been caught in the act of adultery now the law of moses orders which law the law of moses which you which you as as your version the heavenly father god has given so uh, the law of moses orders that such women be stoned to death but you what do you say now the reason of this question was because if jesus said stone her to death then his image of compassion and love it would be nullified it would be false so his words would be contradicting each other and if he said forgive her then it would be that he is going against the law of his father so Jesus bent down and started writing on the ground with his finger. Verse 7 says, And as they continued to ask him, so they pestered him, they continued to ask him, he straightened up and said to them, Let anyone among you who has no sin be the first to throw a stone at her. My dear brothers and sisters, they pestered him and Jesus says, If there is anyone who has not sinned over here, throw the first stone and bend down again writing on the ground. As a result of these words, they went away one by one, starting with the elders. And Jesus was left alone with the woman standing before him. Now, my dear brothers and sisters, many commentators in the gospel have about, or of the gospel, they have written uh, that when Jesus was on the ground writing, probably he was writing the sin of each and every one. Now, it's not wrong. It is not at all wrong. It could be correct but what i feel is when jesus bent down and as he was writing on the ground while they brought this woman and they asked him this question what jesus was doing is he was creating an atmosphere i want you to listen to this very carefully he was creating an atmosphere and he transformed that whole place into a very holy place where the Holy Spirit Lord started to work among every one of them who came bringing this woman. Why? Because when we read the gospel, when we read the gospel, for example, in John's gospel chapter 16, 
verses 8. Verses 7 and 8. Believe me, it is better for you that I go away because as long as I do not go away, the helper will not come to you. But if I go away, I will send him to you. And when he comes, he will vindicate the truth before a sinful world and, in, and he will vindicate the paths of righteous and justice. Now, what the other translation says is he will convict people of sin. He will convict people of their sin, sinners of their sin. And this is exactly what happened over here. The moment Jesus said this, the uh, verses 9 of chapter 8 says, As a result of these words, they went away one by one, starting with the elders. Why? Because the moment Jesus said, Among you those who have never sinned, let him or her throw the first stone. Let him throw the first stone. My dear brothers and sisters, immediately there was a conviction of sin that started happening in their hearts. And they started realizing, I am a sinner. Yes, Lord, I am a sinner. And they, this, there was something about that moment that they understood that here is a person who knows me through and through. My dear brothers and sisters, that is why they all went away. Now, second part of the story is, did Jesus actually save her from this punishment? So what happened to the punishment? Now, we understand either way, this lady was not, this woman who was caught in adultery was not punished. So does that mean that was that punishment evaded? Did she escape that punishment? What happened to the death punishment of which was supposed to be put on this lady? Now, if we see that Jesus helped her escape, then indirectly Jesus broke the law that was given by his father in the book of Moses. Because according to the law of the Lord, these people should be stoned to death. This woman deserved death penalty. So what happened here? Did she escape the death, pen death penalty? What happened to the death penalty? My dear brothers and sisters, the death sentence was there. The death penalty was given. However, it was postponed for a different day. It was postponed for a different day. And the person to bear the death penalty also got interchanged. Instead of this woman, the person who took the death penalty was Jesus Christ. So that is what he did was, that is what Jesus did in this, in this passage. Instead of, you know, he didn't actually say he saved her, but the death penalty, it had to happen. That is law because the wages of sin is death. The death penalty, Jesus bore on himself on the cross. He just postponed that penalty. He took it. Instead of her, he took the blow. He took the sentence, the death sentence, my dear brothers and sisters, on the cross of Calvary. Dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, this is what the essence of the gospel of john is jesus showing his compassion in nature showing his uh, side where he is able to forgive sins thank you so much once again for joining in today in this wonderful bible study join me tomorrow with the final the 10th episode and as we come to a close and don't forget just check out the worship video that is there in my youtube channel which i have uploaded god bless you have a wonderful day ahead praise the lord